this because you're thinking hot dogs and it's Fourth of July. And the mayor from Jaws wants to keep the beaches open, but it is actually furthest. So that eliminated some people. Still got 183 correct answers. And reminder, even if you missed the question, keep playing. You're adding to your monthly leaderboard in total. Okay? Your next query in the world of multiple choice. How many centimeters are in a mile? Is it 1,491,034? Is it 528,000? Or 160? That's great geography. I don't even think that's math. Okay, here we go. The answer, it's actually 160,934 centimeters are in a mile. Whew. Okay, so we got some good correct answers there. I'm not much of a, I could barely run a centimeter at this point. So still 101 perfect rounds going in to your fifth question. You ready? You prepped? Here it is. Another multiple choice are coming your way. The Swedish phrase skal is the English equivalent to what? Is it thanks, hello, or cheers? I believe I'm saying that right. Skal, I'm asking to my non-existent Swedish roommates. Is it skal? Thanks, hello, or cheers? Well, if I had an adult beverage, I would raise one and say skal because it means cheers. That's how you toast in good old Sweden. So there it is. You got 82 correct responses, and they're starting to whittle down. I have, I have my producers in my ear toasting me, so they're clearly having a better time than I am. All right. Your multiple choice continues on, although we are going to get some fill the blanks later, so get your thumbs ready. In the meantime, who had more saves in a single Major League Baseball season? Was it John Smoltz, Mariano Rivera, or Craig Kimbrell? So now they're drinking whole jugs. I can see them on the monitor, and they're drinking whole jugs of alcohol. And they're just labeled X, so you know it's good stuff. Is it Smoltzy, Mariano the Sandman, or Greg Kimbrell? I want to guess Mariano Rivera, because he was so clutch for so many years, but John Smoltz is the actual correct answer. John Smoltz is... Answer. We still got some great, uh, let's see. Prizes is still perfect. Ponch 22, Quiz Mania, Hair is still perfect. And I'm perfect as well. Well, not perfect, but look. Hmm. Is it the cousin, stepbrother, or pen name? From the great Northeast, do. But then also, every great author loves having a pen name. So, what is it? I believe your monthly leaderboard. All right, next query. Here we go. Now you're going to have to fill in a blank. Here we go. Which country was the NHL's winningest goalie born? In which country was the National Hockey League's winningest goalie born? So you got to think about who the goalie is. Then you got to think about what country. I mean, you could just go with where most great hockey players are from. So you could say maybe Canada. You could say maybe Russia. Maybe it's here in America. You know what? I'm going to go America. That's going to be my guess. My guess is America. Okay, well, it's, 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 it's actually can <laughs> Perfect 
matches remaining. Back to multiple choice. The Fed's summary of commentary of current economic conditions is also known as what? Is it the Beige Book, the Market Daily Index, or the Burns Report? It's just fine. How many got that right? 24. <laughs> yeah. You see, we're so in sync. I mentioned the show name, and you got that number. 24 perfect. In the band in sync. So who was not in sync? Was it Chris Kirkpatrick, Brian Luttrell, or Joey Fatone? I, it may be a minority here. I go, I'm a Backstreet Boys guy over in sync. And I think the new kids on the block is better than both of them. Hot take, you tell me. What's the correct answer? That's what I really want to know. The answer, of course, Brian Luttrell was not in in sync. How many people got that? 23 huge in sync bands got that one that are still perfect. So I see we have almost 600 people still competing. So when I say the number of people that got it right, that's the amount of people that are still streaking towards a perfect rank. So don't want to hurt any feelings out there. Your next question, your 12th, is a multiple choice. Who was the first cousin of the creator of NSYNC and the next three points? <laughs> it's a boy band kind of Was it Rhea Perlman, Earl Monroe, or Art Garfunkel? Wow. That's it. Anytime Rhea Perlman's on the board, I'm going to guess her. I just, I love me some Rhea Perlman. Cheers is an all-time great. Big show, and Carl's the big reason why. But she's not the correct answer. The correct answer is Art Garfunkel. Art Garfunkel is Rosemary Say's time and being somebody's cousin. So 15 feet. Got that one correct. We still have 15 perfect rounds going. Your next question. That's some good players here today. Your next question is in the world of multiple. No, it's not. No, it is not. It's a fill in the blank. Man, I'm not the, I'm not huge on Paul Simon after Simon and Garfunkel, but man, they had some good tunes. The Boxer, I Am a Rock. It's just it, 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 obviously Mrs. Robinson. The whole graduate stuff was just great. But what happened to Wally Amos after he left William Morris Agency? What brand did he start? Okay, well, what's his name? His, his name is Amos, and Wally Amos. So that is the correct answer. Type in famous Amos cookies that I ate for a solid summer. I think I just survived off famous Amos chocolate chip. And I haven't. I, I still don't see them in the stores. Are they still making them? I've been to a grocery store in a minute due to current conditions. But bottom line is we have 10 perfect pounds still remaining. Now we're actually multiple choice. Here's your question. What kind of pasta looks like a traditional tuxedo tie? Is it Brazilian, Farfalle, or Bucatini? 